Hello friends, good evening and welcome to another session of Tech Tablet Daily Dose with Varun Rao. In today's session, we would be looking at some very important questions in SAP ABAP and these would be uh, asked very frequently and I would say that they are very important at least at the beginner level for, or at a fresher level or people who got you know one year of experience or so because these are very basic foundational level questions that are asked on ALV reports right and the general business expectations from a BAP consultant has already been explained in the previous videos as well but yet in to repeat you know it would be you know the the general expectation is that they are good at the RISIF objects that are you know generally uh, specified or that are generally you know asked by most of the interviewers uh, even during uh, the HR round or, or you know even during the first round an interviewer generally asks you, you know, if you have experience on RISEF or not, the moment you say you are into a BAP. So that is the, uh, you know, basic expectation from any ABAP consultant, right? And then when it comes to answering in an interview, it is always preferred that whatever the answer is, be confident and let it be very clear so that, you know, there is no question of doubt or the scope of doubt is least because whenever you are answering it reflects your confidence and it actually reflects the the kind of experience you had and what is your understanding on the answer so make it very clear and make it very precise to sound let's let's not answer volumes and volumes let's cut the answer as much as possible and let us answer in the best possible way so the first question is how to make use of edit option in ALV. The edit field is used to edit data at uh, output screen generally and this is uh, mostly declared at the field cat level right. For example you mark edit equal to x. The second question is what are the uses of ALV reports. ALV reports are used for sorting of records, they are used for filtering, they are used for totals and subtotals, they are used for download, uh, you know, for downloading the report uh, from Excel or to Excel, you know, from, or from HTML as well. And they are also used for changing the order of columns in report if you want to hide any unwanted columns from of your report, you know, for all these kind of activities, we use ALV reports. The next question is what are the standard function modules used to create ALV right so there's nothing much to explain in this question I would just read out these standard function modules I thought that it would be good to jot down all these kind of important or you know most frequently asked questions in a page so that is the basic motive behind this video so the first function module is reuse ALV list display which is used to display an ALV list and it is reuse ALV grid display for ALV grid reuse ALV commentary via uh, write this is used for you know output list header information reuse ALV variant F4 this is used as a display variant for select for selection of a dialog box and then you have reuse ALV variant existence it checks whether you know a, vary, uh, a variant exists or not so this is for that then you have reuse ALV field catalog merge this is used to create any field catalog from dictionary structure or from an internal table right so these are some basic standard function modules that we use in order to create an ALV then we have on the fourth question how do you define default variant for ALV so the user can programmatically set the initial uh, variant for any list display right and the default variant can be found using the function module reuse ALV variant default get so this is the function module used in order to define a default variant for ALV the main function module of ALV report is reuse ALV grid display I just thought you know this would be important as well then what are the different types of reports you have two types of reports one is the interactive report and the other is classical report uh, in a classical report we can see that the output is you know in a single list whereas 
in an interactive report we see that you know you have the output in multiple lists so that is the reason why an interactive report is also called as a drill down report interactive report is basically used to connect one to another so if there is one information which is related to another then it becomes very easy to handle via list operation if you are talking of an interactive report and that is the reason why the conventional method of classical reports is slowly getting out of use so let us see what a classical report is right so this is a, a very simple report wherein the programmers learn at the beginning and it is just an output of data using the right statement within a loop that's all that we do in order to get done with a classical report and classical reports are you know very normal simple reports as already said and they do not have any sub reports they have only one screen or a list which is you know the final output and what are the general events that are used in classical reports is initialization at selection screen start of selection and end of selection wherein initialization is used you know to trigger before the selection screen display and at selection screen this event triggers after processing you know the user input you know this is when the at selection screen uh, triggers then you have start of selection this gets uh, triggered at the start of selection you know after processing you know the selection screen so this is when this event gets triggered and finally you have end of selection wherein you know it is the last you know end of selection is for the logical database reporting wherein you have the final output you know to be displayed then you have what is the difference between at selection screen and at selection screen output so these are two different uh, commands or statements uh, altogether at selection screen output is like a pbo uh, a process before output kind of an event and this would get triggered before the screen is displayed now this is very important and this is where or you know this is the command with which we can make the fields visible or invisible based on selection of an input or you know based on selection then you have at selection screen now this event or this uh, command would get triggered if you hit any kind of uh, you know a functionality like a drop down or an f4 or an execute so wherever you want uh, some action to be happening you use at selection screen then which of the events you know generally gets triggered first then it is at selection screen output so that is the first event which gets triggered from these two then you have what are the steps used to create a custom table now this is generally important because every uh, information that you fetch from these are mentioned in table so i thought uh, it is always better to know how to mention uh, sorry how to create a custom table so the first thing first so what you all do is you create a domain and data elements as uh, needed by using the t code sc11 and then you start creating a table in, inside it and you know the part begins so this is where the interviewers are ask you questions from so what are you know the general class that you've used it is maintain delivery class and here it is you have a for application table c for customizing etc then you have you enter all the fields that are required with the appropriate data element or you build in types for each field you know if required then you make sure that you have the primary key for this table you also maintain the technical settings like you know the data class the size the buffering information and all and then you also give the secondary indexes as as required and if you know needed and then you finally activate you check the table for inconsistencies and then you activate the table so these are the steps to create a custom table in sc11 so i hope you have enjoyed the session do stay subscribed to this channel tech tablet for many more videos like these to come and a lot of knowledge yet to be exchanged between us all the very best for your next interview have a great day do well thanks for watching